Hello, 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 and welcome back to the podcast. And it has been a while. And yeah, I guess it was for good reason. Honestly, I wanted, I kind of needed a break after string of exams and stuff. So I just, yeah, I stopped everything for a little while. But I am back now. So yeah, welcome back, and thanks for listening to the podcast. So today I want to talk about YouTube and what they want to what they want to be because they it seems to me that they want to become the center of the creator economy at least in terms of a video they want to become the center of video the video world online video at least and yeah question is can they be can they be can they be the center of online video in on the internet so first bit of background youtube when it started did it was basically glorified google, um, google drive and it didn't have any monetization or ads this was very early though 2007 but with the launch of the partner program monetization came into play and it started becoming framework frameworks for businesses and so now today it's very different it's almost purely an ad company and tons of businesses now are built on top of youtube's framework and yeah question is is that good uh could that change is youtube on its way out maybe maybe not i don't really know so now youtube in the online video space has a, a pretty much lockdown over long form videos that's youtube's wheelhouse is their bread and butter and that's basically what people go to youtube for, for watching long form video and that's pretty much what has made it the second largest search engine in the world after its parent google which is honestly kind of ironic so that um that's i don't know that's pretty it's pretty interesting to me that people have tried uh to uh take youtube spy but they've not succeeded more on that later anyway the other two spheres i think um i'd argue a long form video and short form sorry not long form live stream video and short form video and i'd argue that it's just taken off with the pandemic uh are you what is okay uh they just took taken off during with the pandemic live streaming first of all it it existed before gaming content lent its tre- lent itself very well to live stream and there was other stuff like um, variety content from soda pop and i assume no watch much of his stuff but uh, uh ludwig has cited him as one of his inspirations anyway but viewership shot up for variety content like game show style or almost late night tv style live streams shot up during the pandemic and twitch the viewership on twitch just took off exponentially grew and i think that was that's when live stream became a huge priority for companies in the space twitch is still top dog in the world challengers have tried to take over the spot like mixer but they none of them have really succeeded now short form content it might it kind of existed before with vine and uh, musically to a lesser extent but uh tiktok is what caused it to um like absolutely pop off tiktok did something no one else could that is beat youtube in terms of number of views and their meteoric rise is basically what prompted other companies to copy the tiktok format now the question is what happened status quo states that in the web video world youtube dominates long form video twitch still holds a strong still holds a big advantage in uh, live stream and short form it's just tiktok no one else is even close let's first talk about youtube youtube is very secure on their throne their vimeo and facebook have tried to beat it have tried to take a at least a piece of their pie but no one has the no one has succeeded the greatest sign of youtube success is the fact that people go to youtube to 
search stuff and basically is made it into a glorified search engine no one searches vimeo or facebook to find a tutorial on how to repair an obscure washing machine you go to youtube for that it seems to me though that youtube wants more first let's talk about short form after hang green's video about tiktok's monetization program i think that's what sparked sentiment against tiktok basically for anyone who's unaware tiktok's monetization is atrocious they have a just a single fund so as the number of views on tiktok grows it gets divided by a bigger and bigger amount and that's what makes it a um what do you say a creators earn less when youtube earns more i mean sorry tiktok earns more so that's what sparked a big rise in the number of con- amount of content uploaded to competing platforms like Instagram and YouTube and but the issue is it's just direct reuploads of the TikTok content but YouTube seems to jump on the, this opportunity and they've announced a plan for shorts monetization similar to long form monetization that is a percentage split so if YouTube earns x uh YouTube will get for 55% creators will get 45% and this is actually uh There's there's an interesting thing where a small amount of that goes to licensing licensing copyrighted music from uh, labels which pretty much solves the issue you a uh, TikTok has with copyright infringement Twitch too seems to be falling in the live stream space creators are moving over to YouTube some creators have been signed like Ludwig and Saikuno and others are just moving on their own accord after because youtube is a developing features and bringing them closer and closer to parity with twitch and b twitch has decided to remove the 70 30 subscription split that uh basically means creators on much lesser on twitch twitch also has had in incredible monetize like moderation issues for sponsored gambling sponsored gambling streams are extremely common on twitch and there's an exp- there was an exponential increase in copyright related issues with the pa- like with the pandemic increased viewership meant labels paid more attention to ch- to twitch and there's no copyright protection on twitch this just made it worse so it seems to me that youtube wants to create a workflow that accommodates all three types of web video and that is evident in their uh, their new redesign of youtube that has created three separate um tabs for videos live and shorts this they kind of almost promoting creators to create all three types of content and i think is also this incentive has worked if you check out ali abdul's channel before and after the change the live stream is he started to live stream and his shorts output has like increased vastly now the question is can youtube win first short form The issue is TikTok is a phenomenon just like Vine was all those years ago and to break that sense of community is pretty much impossible and TikTok is huge and the discoverability is just incredible but YouTube does not have those skills yet they're too big to create the community and their their discoverability is not as good as TikTok's although YouTube has their own advantages and I'll come to that later most YouTube shorts therefore are just TikTok reuploads but i wonder if this would change after shorts monetization comes into effect the next question big question mark over this is tiktok's pulse program is basically tiktok's response to youtube's percent split revenue model uh a couple of questions though how easy is it to get into the uh, pulse program how many advertisers will go to tiktok given their issues in moderation will tiktok face an ad apocalypse like youtube did all those years ago Uh, because they have so many issues with copyrighted content now live streams are also a little bit confusing twitch's dominance over live streaming is expected to remain because of the culture again that they have youtube is again too big to catch to gain that culture but if they if twitch continues to make policy blunders that push creators away and if youtube still uh incentivizes makes the thing makes the product better and better i don't think twitch will remain top dog this stuck between the devil and the deep sea the bleeding amazon's money the facing creator pressure in terms of the pay split the facing advertiser pressure because of all sorts of terrible decisions and they're facing pressure from the music industry given the high amount of copyrighted content that's on twitch and they're being hunted down by youtube 
to a lesser extent facebook i don't think facebook is going to win facebook is dead in my in my eyes now youtube's advantages are strong extremely strong youtube has four massive advantages first of all is workflow youtube does it all so it allows creators to centralize their businesses and allows audience the audience to go to one site for a multitude of different functions second is reach youtube is the second biggest search engine in the world and therefore reaches an audience no other platform can reach as much as i said tiktok is massive youtube is massive or youtube is also in to some extent but in a different way of phenomena youtube has been ingrained into people's lives and i don't think uh that's about to change anytime soon if you gave me my, if i had to bet on a company to stick around for independent media i wouldn't bet on tiktok i would bet on youtube and third copyright as much as people love to hate it twitch uh youtube's copyright is incredibly smart and it works about 70 to 80% of the time which is at this point better than what twitch and tiktok can do which is good enough their yeah their decision for the licensing of music sounds like a good idea they may make this difference even bigger but the question is whether the whether this can go this can be used in live streams as well and in uh, long form video or just shorts and the biggest youtube uh, youtube advantage i'd argue is monetization no one has been able to monetize videos as effectively as youtube can as fairly as youtube can and without causing as much uh controversy as youtube did not uh, that was that didn't make sense youtube has not caused controversy other pl- platforms have no live streams for live streamers the memberships is 70 30 split by default and no one and shorts monetization seems to be the question is short, will shorts monetization be good enough if shorts monetization is good enough and if tiktok's pulse isn't good i think youtube has a big big big, big possibility of just of taking over so yeah i think that's all for discussion today just to update you guys uh i i live streamed a little bit a uh, bit of a production session a few few weeks back and yeah i intend on live streaming a little bit more maybe in a couple of weeks i'm just working on something right now and yeah make sure to join the streams when i hopefully stream more and yeah i recently applied to yale's pre college program called yygs wow was that painful it took so much work i had to write so many essays i had to catch up with so many people to get recommendations and transcripts and all that that was it was terrible <laughs> i didn't realize applying to college would be so lengthy but yeah i guess this is what you have to do right So yeah I hope you guys have had fun I hope you've listened I mean I hope you've enjoyed listening just rambling making mistakes along the way but yeah I guess it's all right I hope you're all doing well thank you for listening and goodbye